Hi everybody, I'm David Ellison, and I want to introduce you to the new Zoom B3 Bass Effects and Amp Simulator pedal. A cool new pedal that has analog effects, bass amplifier modeling, as well as some personalized patches and settings that I designed for it as well. So let's take a look at what the pedal has to offer. So the Zoom B3 is a very functional and roadworthy pedal. All heavy metal construction, uh, heavy stomp button, uh, buttons on it, which is cool because just like when you're in the heat of battle and you're punching on, on things with your foot, you want it to be able to be a very uh, roadworthy piece, which this is. Um, as you notice, there's no cable plug in because it is also battery operated, which is really a really cool thing, especially if you're in a hotel room, you're on a tour bus or anywhere in your house, you can actually take the pedal with you and not have to worry about AC. Um, as you go through, essentially, you're, as you hit each one of the pedals, it's just like turning on and off a stomp box and you've got three uh, control knobs within each pedal. You almost look at this like it's three separate effects pedals right here and you can combine them or separate them out. Uh, as you notice, there's a button flashing. That's because it has a built-in metronome and drum machine. So you have a bass player's best friend, which is a drummer on the fly with you at all times. Let's flip around here to the back panel. Um, you have uh, XLR uh, line out. Um, and, and actual controls there for that as well. You've also got uh, quarter inch, uh, both stereo and mono uh, outputs. Also USB, which is great for recording if you're gonna be plugging in your computer and doing any type of uh, even home-based recording. And, uh, and of course, actual AC, so you get battery and, and AC power. Um, and then of course over here on the input, uh, both passive and active input, so you can pad and attenuate that depending on if you have a passive or an active base. So a great pedal with some uh, professional input as far as uh, the patches like the ones that I put and some of my friends put into this pedal for you, as well as just the ease of use for you to create your own patches as well. So a fantastic bass player companion here in the Zoom B3. All right, so let's dig into some of the patches that I created. One of the cool things about this is it combines the ease of essentially a stomp box, but all the power that a multi-effects processor would have. And uh, I, I we'll start with the first one here, which is um, which is a, a crunch fuzz, which has a sound like this. thick heavy you know distortion tone. What's kind of cool about this effect uh, box here with the B3 is that you can actually, if I hold down the uh, button number one, you can actually look at the exact uh, individual stop boxes that I used to create any one of my any one of my tones that I created in a box. So for this particular one I'm using an exciter um, a resonance pedal as well as a as like a fuzz smile pedal. So those are the things that that I actually use to create it. So you can kind of get a feel for, you know, what what the exact you know uh, components were that I put together to get the kind of tone that I, that I wanted to create. That's the crunch fuzz setting here on the B3. And one of the things that I like about effects processing when I use it is to have that real deep old school analog sound to it. So, and for, and for, this one's actually called Amused. Which gives us that real nice old school flavor. Even though I play really fast in a lot of, especially the Megadeth material, you know, there comes a time, obviously, for most bass players when we lay back and we play slower. So it's nice to have a different set of effects that can really unfold. Sometimes there are things that you're going to use um, when you're just playing by yourself. I find sometimes using a pedal like the B3 will inspire me to come up with new riffs and new parts. Uh, and other times I actually want to use it to add maybe to a recording or even in a live setting. Um, I put in there some uh, some uh, chorus. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of chorus. Just nice. 